you've had such great success, but like a lot of actors early on, you needed to get work. Yeah. And uh, you would go out for different advertisements to you start a commercial. You take really crazy risks. Uh, 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 my agent called me one day and said, have you ever rappelled off a mountain? I go, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? Oh, absolutely. Because you're, you're supposed to just say yes. Say yeah. yes. I'm and doing it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I said, well, there's a, there's a Mars candy bar where they want the California lifestyle, and you need to know how to repel off a mountain. Oh, yeah. I've done it a thousand times, which I've never even wanted to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let alone do it. Right. Um, Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfectly good mountain. Why are you leaving it? Yeah. So <laughs> they said at the, call, at the call, they said, well, if we call you back, we're gonna have you repel off the three-story building next door. How do you feel about that? Fine, absolutely, great. Love, I love it, love it. So I had a good feeling about this and I called this outdoors company called A16 at the time. I don't know if it's still in business, but, uh, and I, this guy named Chad uh, answers the phone. <laughs> Very California. And I said, ah, Chad, uh, yeah, yeah. And I go, I need to, I need to learn how to uh, repel off a mountain. I'm your guy. <laughs> is, is there anyone else uh, around? No, I'm your guy. So I commit. Chad is going to show me within five hours how to do this. Uh, teach me the jargon that I need to know. And we go out there. It was horrific. The first time I went down it, I'm hugging this. You're supposed to be perpendicular. Yes, you're supposed to be off you're, the side yes, of the mountain. To yeah. the mountain. Right. I was like, like this. Right. Everything. Kissing it as yes. you went down. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But after the five hours, I got penduluming and doing 360s and actually enjoying myself. Right. And uh, I did get a call back. I went to the call. I was picked third out of five guys. The first two guys get up there and they're being hooked up by a stuntman up top. And they come down and they're almost practically walking down. I thought, that's not going to work. Yeah. So I go up to the producers and the director and I said, you mind if I, uh, you know, hook myself up to a single gold line through the carabiner? <laughs> and they, I said, it's kind of like packing your own chute, you know. And I, you know, yeah, sure. So I go up there right. and I said, single line. So it, with two lines going through, you're going to have more friction. So one line, you have less. Right. And, and he hooks me up, are you sure you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would look over the edge down to them below and go, you ready? Good, yeah, anytime. And he'd go, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, you sure? Yeah, good, okay. And then I just jumped off, did one bounce in the middle of the building, twirled around, came down, did the little, you know, coming over here, coming around here, and then boom. <laughs> And it was like, you can feel the deflation of the other guys. It was like, that was mine. Yeah. I got the you commercial. You nailed it, yeah. I nailed it. <laughs> we, uh, we happened to shoot at the Chatsworth Rocks where I learned how to do this. And I couldn't help but at the end of the day, I said, you know, to the producer and director, you're not gonna believe this, but so ironic, this location, is where I first learned how to do it. <laughs> wild. So wild. Like full circle. Oh. Wow. Full circle four hours four, ago. Yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs>